Hello, I'm Luca Torix, and welcome to part 18 of the Greek Cities campaign on Rome Total War. And, I mean, things didn't really go that well at the end of last episode. It kind of went mixed. Uh, we got knocked back from, I think it was Tylus, by the Thracians, and then also a huge Seleucid force took Sardis. There was nothing really we could do about that, but, you know... What I want to do this episode is really restore some order. I think the campaign has been going okay so far, but it's been very, very chaotic. And there's not a lot of structure to where armies are moving. I kind of, and I do play this game very spontaneously. I do kind of just say, oh, Carthage looks a bit weak. Okay, we'll go and take that, even though we haven't taken Lily Byam. So, you know, it does work sometimes, but... I do want a bit of order, so we'll start off over here, in fact, in the Carthage Thapsus region, where we have a bit of public order now. There was real public disorder earlier, things have got a bit better, and in Carthage we, oh, if I click on it properly, in Carthage we actually have a general here, Telemachus of Sparta, who, he's already an architect, he is an obsessional trainer, which is nice, strict governor, mildly extravagant, poor farmer, that's a bit of a shame he's a poor farmer, in fact, but whatever. He seems alright, he's got a decent army here, and then we have a, a decent little force here. I have no desire to go to war with the Numidians yet, definitely not until we've dealt with the Carthaginians, so that's something to, to think about, but we'll kind of leave that for the moment. What I'm more concerned about is Masana. So Masana is like almost constantly under siege, I mean literally we never have any any sort of break from it being under siege, and it's been now attacked by Captain Carpaporus. And he has a force, let's have a look at it quickly, it's a decent force, I think it's probably a bit battered from the last time it fought us, but there's basically nothing in Masana, so we do need to move troops over there. We do have Anaxandrus of Knossos over here, but really it's the armoured hoplites we need inside the city, so the difficult thing is how are we actually going to physically get them over there? What we need is we need them next to the city. If they stand outside of here, they won't actually be in the city. Now, what's this navy doing? It's going over there. Okay, interesting. It's going to go over towards the Apollonia region. Okay, so that ship can do that. That's cool. But we need to work out how to get troops over from Syracuse to Masana. So if we go around this way, it will take two turns, which is slightly longer than I'd really like, considering the Carthaginians could technically attack this turn. But I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to take two turns to go around the side of this stupid bloody volcano. So we're going to bring you two... You two, and you three. If we do that, will Syracuse be unhappy? Yes, it will be. Of course it will be. Of course it will be. Right. We're going to bring over three armoured hoplites. And those three armoured hoplites come round here. Next turn, you can go and help Masana. So, with those three armoured hoplites, I think we're pretty much safe in Masana. So, that that's cool. So... We do need to build up an army in this region. Now, we do have troops in Carthage and Thapsus, like I said, which they will be coming over at some point. So, what we'll do in Syracuse, just keep recruiting the armoured hoplites. Beautiful. Now, in Greece, a bit of unhappiness. It's not too bad. What my priority is, is dealing with the Brutii. So, we have this force in Apollonia. We have the force of Doros of Sparta. Pretty decent sized army. It's just been retrained. And they are pretty much ready to go over and deal with the Brutii at Tarentum and Croton. So we have those guys, and then also in Termon, we have Telis of Attica, and this really grumpy looking guy, Melas of Heraclium. Yeah, he really doesn't look very happy. So what we're going to do, we're going to sort out two armies. So Doros of Sparta, alongside you guys. Some of these armoured hoplites probably need retraining somewhere, to be honest. Right, if we brought all of you guys out, would Apollonia be too unhappy? It would be okay. So this is one army, it's nothing amazing, but it will do the job for the moment, this this one here. And then in Termon, we'll bring out Telis of Attica, because he's good, he's got good morale bonuses. We'll bring out you two, and we'll bring out you two. So Telis of Attica, he needs to start heading up here as well, because he's going to be dealing with the Brutai pretty soon. In fact, let's get this navy attacking first of all this Brutii navy, just get them out of the way. We've got a pretty strong navy here, so yeah, should be able to get those da guys down pretty quickly. We could possibly go over to Croton and Tarentum right now. Let's get Doris of Sparta on this boat, and then get you guys just over here. I don't think we can quite make it to the land, can we? Oh, we can just step on the land. There we go. So we'll step on the land, and there are some mercenaries, which is exactly what I was hoping. Sam Knight's not the greatest, but 
No, you know what? We're not going to waste money on mercenaries. We should be okay. Doris Esparta, he's a good guy. He's going to head towards Trenton, where there's not a lot of force. We should be okay. The ship now needs to start coming back to collect this guy. So actually, you step back in there for the moment. Just make sure Termon's happy, because, yeah, not a lot we can do in that regard for the moment. We haven't got enough ships, basically. I do want to go and deal with the Thracians, but to be honest, we need more force in Turkey. We need to go and get a force that's going to retake Sardis, and we're going to have to prepare for war with the Seleucids and the Egyptians very, very soon. Really, we need to have less force up here near Thrace and more in Turkey. So, let's have a look at Bailozora quickly. So, these are the troops near Bailozora. We won't pick up those guys. We haven't really got a lot of money. So, these guys, I think, really, Hippias of... Um, what was his name again? Hippias of what? Thebes, he, instead of going to deal with the Thracians, is going to go and basically clear up Turkey, clear up Sardis in particular, so he's going to start moving along this way, or actually just move along this way because we don't want to cross through Thracian territory, and you can probably bring a couple of hot plates along with you when you're ready, that would be alright. I think we're ready to end the turn, we've done as much clearing up as we can, things aren't going great, we're actually losing population in turn one as well, which isn't ideal, but we'll end the turn and we'll see what happens. Okay, turn has ended and the Brutii diplomat is talking to us immediately. Doesn't actually really want to talk. And the Seleucids have indeed attacked us outside of Tarsus. Now, this is going to be interesting. So we've got another fight outside of Tarsus. Ippolcus of Diem, he's travelled a long way to get over here. Unfortunately, couldn't get any help from the lad from Philippi over in Mazakal, but whatever, he couldn't get over in time, it's fine. So what have we got? We've got Ippolcus of Diem. We've got Militia Cavalry, only one unit of Hoplites. It's basically a bunch of mercenaries. In fact, it pretty much is all mercenaries apart from the cavalry. And not a lot of heavy infantry, which is a bit of a concern. They've got a lot of Militia Hoplites, which aren't amazing. The Levy Pikemen are good. And then over here, we've got Antiochus himself and some not very good cavalry. This, this won't be super easy. Um, this won't be super easy, but... We'll, we'll do our best. I think we can do a decent job here, and hopefully a convincing win means we could potentially take Tarsus. But yeah, this is not going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination, so let's see how we do. Right, so here we are. Now, I kind of have a little bit of a plan for this, which, because we basically have no infantry, it's kind of annoying, and like no heavy frontline infantry. So we really need to get the Levy Pikemen down with all the missile troops we've got. So... Hoplites come up here, then we're going to have Thracians and Silicians in behind them, sort of just as backup. I mean, they're going to take the blunt of the charges. In fact, you can go like this. Um, yeah, not a lot we can do in that regard. And then, in fact, just sort of just come over here. And then we're going to have Cretans in behind them. Now, the Cretans can fire off skirmish mode and off fire at will. I want all of the missile troops to be focusing on the Levy Pikemen more than anything. And then you lot, and we're on the side doing exactly the same thing. Off skirmish mode. Actually, no, on, you can be on skirmish mode. So you guys, in this form, in fact, forget the general at the back here. You guys, in this formation, start the battle. Now, pause it for a second. We now need to move. You guys can be out of phalanx just quickly, just so you can move faster. We need all of you to move as quickly as you can, like this, towards the hoplites, or... Pikeman. You can see the city over there, so we know the reinforcements are going to come from over there, which is fine. Um, it's something we can deal with. So quickly run up to them. Good. And then get all of the missile troops, not the Silicians, in fact. All the missile troops on the Levy Pikeman. Let's get them down as quickly as we can, please. So everyone on the Levy Pikeman. And we can skirmish around. And just get them down. So they're at 107. You can see already they're shaken. They're the most dangerous unit because A, Militia Hoplites aren't that scary, and B, um, they have longer spears than the Militia Hoplites, so they can do more damage, let's put it that way. You guys get into Phalanx, and if we could just get those Levy Pikemen down quickly, that would be really, really nice. Silicians so start firing at these Militia Hoplites. Thracians get ready to come around the back of a unit if it charges, in fact... Yeah, this is going to be slightly confusing. Okay, Levy Pikemen still steady. They're sort of coming into the side of these hoplites, so Silicians don't charge that way. Okay, they break. Good. So we've got a unit breaking over there. You Right, let's just pause for a second. So this unit's broken. 
So Alicia's now going to focus on these militia hoplites. Levy Pike can have broken. Good. Let's get all of the missile troops now focusing on another unit of militia hoplites before the reinforcements come over. Bear in mind the reinforcements are coming over quickly. These guys are about to come in the back. Oh, sorry, in the front of the militia. Sorry, the mercenary hoplites. There's so many different kind of hoplites. I get confused. You come round here. Come round here. Do what you're told. Come round here. Thracians, come round here. Come round the back. Round the back of them. Silicians, round the back. That's it. They've broken as well. Good. So we've got three units broken. Let's get as many of them down while they're here. We've got these. They're broken as well. Good. Okay, let's pause for a second. What have we got here? We've got militia hot flights shaken. We've got militia cavalry and militia hot flights eager. So these guys are shaken. So now, missile troops, focus on the most eager of the troops, which is the militia hoplites. So you guys go and do that. You guys go towards those shaken militia hoplites. Silician pirates get back a little bit. Thracians get back a little bit. If we can take down all the hoplites before the reinforcements get there, that's great. So we are about to charge those militia hoplites. Shaken. They've got the spears up for some reason, which benefits us. Thracians get around the back of them. Thracians be super quick, please, if you wouldn't mind. They're broken. Could. Now we've got these militia hoplites. They're steady. In fact, no, no. You guys go for those levy pikemen because they're back. Silicians get back. Silicians get back. Silicians get back. Oh my goodness, guys, do what you're told. Thracians, don't know why you're charging in that direction. Very bad idea. Instead, get into the back of these levy pikemen super quickly. General, come around the back here. Silician pirates get around the back. If we can charge these guys in the back, they're wavering. They should break pretty quickly. So, they're about to break. Silicians are going to charge in the back. Uh, we've got these militia hot plights. These levy pikemen, they're wavering. They're still causing trouble. So, general, you might want to get around the back of them. So they're broken now. Now, now, now the now the problem, the, the the trouble starts. You need to turn around quickly and face the general. You. This is where the trouble starts because we've got a ton of missile units that will not be able to stand up to their general. We've killed half of their army, but still probably won't be enough. Right, what we've we got here, we've got side chariots in the Thracians. They're going to be dead. We've got Militia Cavalry have charged my general. That's kind of stupid, but I still want my general out of there. Right. You get into the back of those Militia Hoplites. You turn around to face the general. General's in the back of those Militia Hoplites. They're shaken. Bloody Militia Cavalry is chasing us everywhere. We've got Scythe Chariots, which will cause trouble, and my general's broken. Pathetic. Utterly pathetic. M missile Troops, my general's dead. Okay, well... I, I... It was going so well. It was going so well. It was going so bloody well. And then the, then everything had to go flipping wrong, didn't it? Hippocus of Diem. He travelled a long flipping way and now he's just gone and died for no reason. Well, well done. And now the Cretans are about to die. This is, this is a shame. This is a shame because it was going well. We lacked heavy infantry to deal with the cavalry. And now good Cretans are about to die, and it's tragic. You, just distract the general quickly. Do it. Distract the general. So the Cretans can get away. That's it. Cretans, route. Yep, yeah, they're routing. Ah, oh, they're so dead. I'm just going to speed up. Can't be bothered to watch them die. Cannot be bothered to watch them die. Okay, just go and kill them. Whatever. Clear defeat. Trying to, try to stay calm. We didn't bring enough heavy infantry. Whatever. Whatever. Right, Carthaginians have attacked here, which is so annoying. Back off. We've actually backed in the right direction, so that was a little bit helpful at least. And they didn't they didn't go and take Masana, which is good as well. I'm so annoyed we lost that. I'm so annoyed. Right, Gurjos of Segesta. He's a wall breaker. He's brave, which is good. Bureaucrat. And come on, yeah, get you. I know you're a little bit old, but where are you? You are at Termon. Okay, so you could be a little bit useful. Oh, I'm so annoyed Ipocus of DM died. Who would have thought the Seleucids would be causing me this much trouble? I mean, they've caused me more trouble than the Pontix ever did. Ever did. But there we go. Right. Well, that army must have completely disintegrated, right? There's a few lads left. A few remnants of nothing, basically. Okay. Well, we need to get the army from Mazakar over. But even then, Mazakar's unhappy. So we take them out. We've got public order issues. Plus a huge Seleucid army over here. So, I think we just need to chill. Do you know what the annoying thing is? If this spy had done his job 
and infiltrated the city properly, we could have taken Tarsus. But anyway, I think we need to chill out on the Seleucids for a little bit until we get reinforcements. Because at the moment, we are just taking too many L's. We're taking too many losses against them and we're not recovering quick enough. So, you know, we'll do what we can do. We can now step over here and defend Masana, so that's good. Now, Lily Byam is looking decisively weak. It is looking very weak. We've still got this army over here, but it is looking pretty weak, which is good to see. Still, if we went and besieged it, this guy would come and attack us. Not the greatest force ever, but it's still decent. You know what, let's do something good first. Abdoras of Sparta, he's got this army. Let's go and take Tarentum. Or at least besiege it. We should be able to do that nice and easily. Get a couple of rams and Tarentum should be ours pretty soon. Once they've got Tarentum and Croton, they can come down and deal with Sicily. And hopefully we could just storm Sicily. Now, in Termon, we have quite a few men. So what we'll do, we'll bring Telis of Attica and we'll bring the new lad alongside these hoplites out of Termon. If you're unhappy, you're gonna have to just you're just gonna have to deal with it for once. You know what? If you if you revolt for one turn, you revolt. There's nothing I can do. So the ship can come over here. And then we'll get you guys on the ship. And you guys can start going for I mean Croton is weak, isn't it? It's pretty weak. It's not amazingly weak, admittedly. Hopefully by the time we actually go to fight against the, the Brutite Croton, Doros would have done his job and then the combination of the two will be enough, hopefully. So we'll just start moving that direction anyway, so that's good. Tarentum we have under siege and we're going to have Croton under siege within a couple of turns, so that's nice to see as well. Now by Lazora, there's a lot of, there's a decent amount of force here. We need this force in Turkey. We don't really need it against the Thracians, not too much at the moment. Mercenaries, still the same ones. Yeah, we don't particularly need this force up in Bylazora. So Hippias of Thebes can come along, alongside you two. Yeah, you two can come along, definitely. So you can join Hippias of Thebes. And yeah, so you guys. And then can Bylazora spare a couple of hoplites? Can Bylazora spare one, maybe? It can, it can spare one. So you guys start heading towards Turkey. You're going to take a while, but you're going to sweep up the Seleucids. I promise you of that. In fact... Bring along this unit of armoured hoplites as well, why not? And in fact, if if Thessalonica is okay with it, yeah, bring that unit into Larissa, make them a bit happier. Thessalonica is actually relatively happy because it was under, it had the plague. So, the, in fact, it diminished the population so much that they're not so unhappy now, but I'm still going to get them a temple. Still want to get that temple going there. Right, so he is heading for the coast, and then... Hopefully, yeah, going to deal with the Celestes pretty soon. That's what we can do there. Now, last thing really we can do is turn Mazakar. Hopefully, you're going to be a bit happy within a turn because your temple is going to be all right. So just don't revolt. You won't revolt. Actually, you're you're in the blue at the moment, so you're okay. Get another unit of hoplites going. That would be nice if you could do that. Let's merge some of these Scythians up, and then you guys. We've got this small army here. Now, honestly, you should probably just start heading back somewhere so you can get retrained because. There's nothing really you can do here, so just start heading back to sort of Halicarnassus region. Unfortunately, you guys did not do your job. Okay, I think I've done all I can. Let's end the turn and probably start really getting the, some good attacks on the Brutii. That's the major thing we're going to progress with this episode. So, let's end the turn. The Brutii talking to us at Bylazora. This diplomat likes to have a little bit of a talk, doesn't he? Let's see what else is going on. Celestids so moving around. As long as they're not attacking us, we should be okay. Carthaginians attack Syracuse. That's interesting. They magic. They, that, did you see that over there? They magicked an army out of nowhere in Lilibyum. I will. I swear to God, they literally just teleported an army from oblivion. Now, this is the army that was carrying back the remnants of the battle we just lost, and pirates have attacked it, and we lost, and we get pushed back towards Salamis. Okay, Sino, there's rioting. We'll deal with that in a minute. Same with Pergamum. For goodness sake. Okay, but that's it. Public order is getting better. So, yeah, this army just came out of nowhere. Literally came out of nowhere. Um, Masana is no longer under siege. Now they've put Syracuse under siege. The Carthaginians really can't decide what to do. It's kind of it's kind of odd, but um, we'll, we'll have a look at that in a minute. So, let's have a look at the faction announcements. We've got, so, Alexandrus of Knossos, retinue expands. Good to see. Right, so first of all, you guys into Carthage, make them a bit happier. We are going to bring troops over to Sicily in a second from Africa. But first of all, so Syracuse, you've got 
uh, what's one, two, three, four, five, six armored hoplites, and not a lot else apart from the general against this army, which doesn't look amazing, but could still is pretty big, like all the um, armies of Carthage at the moment. So, okay, okay, we could do with a navy around here, but in general, I think we could probably help defend Syracuse. I think we're okay. So I think what we need to do, right, we're going to get this. Hmm, this is tough. Okay, we're going to move some lads out of Carthage. Not the general, because the general is staying here for public order purposes. But let's just move these hoplites out. I think these hoplites are ready to move out. Probably, though, we need the archers. If we moved all this out, Carthage is going to be unhappy, isn't it? You know what? They're happy enough. They're not going to rebel. This is a decent force. So if we step over there onto this... I tell you what, we could do another ship, couldn't we? Okay, recruit a trireme and then get over next turn towards Lily Byam. So what we're going to do, it, yeah, is, is exactly that. Then Masana, I want you to recruit a Byreme. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring you guys inside of Masana. Next turn, we're going to get these armoured hoplites over to Syracuse and help defend that because they keep changing their mind so we're gonna have Syracuse is gonna be good we're gonna have an army going towards Lily Byam I think Lily Byam or we could just wait for the Brutii to oh sorry the lads from the Brutii regions to come over and reinforce because that is a decent little force over there uh, in in Sicily still so we'll kind of see where we're at next turn I think we should first of all move on to Tarentum and probably take it now in fact let's just put Croton under siege first I think Croton yeah, it doesn't look that strong. Or, these guys could go straight to Sicily. What we could do... Get these guys over to Sicily. They're going to be there next turn. Alongside the army from Carthage, which is on this navy. The combined force of this navy joined up with the generals from this navy. The general of Telesvatica. The combination of that force should be enough to take Lilibyum and eventually kick the Carthaginians out of Sicily. So we're going to do that. We can take Tarentum right now though. So Doris to Sparta. Let's assault Tarentum. So we've got 753 men against the 420 of Vibius Brutus. Princapes, Hastati, Cavalry Auxilia, Hastati and Welates. The Princapes are decent. He's decent. He's the faction leader. The rest isn't amazing. We've got a ton of good quality hoplites which should be able to clog up the streets. So I feel like we should be okay here. I swear we had some Samnites, did we not? Apparently not. Well, anyway, let's go and take Tarentum. Right, so here we are, and the walls are pretty pathetic. The Romans never bothered to actually build walls. They built some pretty decent buildings here. Now, what I like instantly is I can see the plaza already, but is there actually a good way to access it from here? Oddly enough, although the plaza is really close to our entrance, I don't actually think there's a very good way to access it from this side. In fact, the layout of this city, it's quite hard to get to the plaza full stop. It's quite a convoluted route. I think really, maybe, we'd be better served starting off over here, using this street, and then walking down this, that street towards the plaza that way. Can you get... This is ridiculous. The layout of this city is like a maze. Well, I think we're going to start out over here anyway. So, I don't particularly want the Cretans holding the ram, but let's just get everyone over in this region to start off with, and we'll have a look from there. So... We don't want the Cretans holding the ram, that's just a bit stupid. We'll get a unit of hoplites to hold that ram. So the two units holding the ram can go here and here. Then we can have the Cretans at the front. And then all the other hoplites just sort of stand around and look cool. Thank you very much. So, start the battle. Just pause it instantly so we can have a look at what's going on. So we've got... The Roman general's right there, but he'll retreat back to the plaza in a second. So you, come over here. You, in fact, no, you come over here. You, come over here. Hoplites, stand around here. And then Cretans, you're actually already firing, which is cool, but just sort of stand around here. In fact, for once, don't want the Cretans firing. I don't want them wasting their arrows quite yet. Right, the walls are down. Now, what have we got here? We have got a unit of Hastati. Okay. So what exactly are they going to do? We've got two breaches, so we can potentially surround them. You guys get into Phalanx, if you wouldn't mind. And so can you guys. In fact, why don't... Yeah, they're going to stand there. Guys, quickly run in, out of Phalanx. If they run in, the Hastati should... Ah, another unit's come over. Another unit of Hastati. Well, 
Uh, that's not very good. Okay, get in phalanx and just stand there for a second. That's not ideal. Um, we need another unit to get out of phalanx. And run over here. If these Hastati react, guys, you need to get your spears down in that formation, like I said. Guys, just... Oh, for God's sake. I'm going to take a few losses here. Guys, come around here. Yeah, those Hastati are coming up over there. You guys, spears down. You. So we've got two units of Hastati on... Sorry, one unit of Hastati on two miniature hoplites. But those guys are causing trouble. Yeah, they're, they're coming over to help. So you guys, out of Phalanx. Out of Phalanx. Come over here, one unit's broken, for God's sake. Right, guys, just attack those stupid bastards. You, you need to get around the back of these Astarte. How did you guys break? Absolutely pathetic. Guys, why haven't you got your spears down? They're broken. Well, I can just tell already we're going to have a huge amount of losses here. It's going to be one of those battles, isn't it? It's going to be one of those battles. Guys, just get all the hot plates coming in. It's going to be one of these battles. Like experienced, silver experienced hot plates running like little girls. Let's just get all the hot plates in and surround them, please. Thank you very much. They broke. Oh my god, everyone's flipping breaking. Guys, come over here quickly. So we now have the phalanx surrounding the Hastati. Should be okay now. You guys out of phalanx, come over here. You guys just get in the city, please. Doros, you might as well come along as well, please. So, yeah, there we go. Hastati finally broken down. But that wasn't the best start to battle. Don't know why they're routing as well. Okay, so we've still got the majority of our army. It's just not gone brilliantly so far. But... There we go. Okay, what we need... So we need to get our strongest hoplites in a line. Like this. And then just get lines and lines of strong hoplites. So you two come around here as well. So we've got... You two come along like this. So we've got two lines of two hoplites each. That's so four hoplites. Then we'll get another unit round here. And then to back them all up, we'll have the Cretans. That will be pretty formidable. So if you could all do that, please, that'd be nice. Beautiful. Now that's going to be pretty difficult to deal with. You guys get in the group. And I want you to start walking towards the plaza. Now I'm not exactly sure where these Romans are going. Because they're actually going over there. Even though the plaza seems to be in that direction. It's very confusing to work out where the plaza is. But anyway, these troops start walking this way. General, just kind of shadow them, please. I'm not sure the Romans know where their own plaza is. I mean, <laughs> they're running around backwards and forwards. I can't blame them. I mean, it just seems to be stuck in the middle. Now, if we pause it for a second... The Roman general is over there. If we get the Cretans firing at the Roman general, he might charge into all these phalanx because he has to respond to the fact that he's being hit. If he does, he's not going to have a good time. So please turn left. Please turn left. The Cretans are hitting you. Please turn left. He doesn't seem to be reacting yet. He's... Ah, here we go. He's coming over. Now he's going to charge. Please say he charges into a lot of hoplite phalanx. He's ready to absolutely decimate him. It looks like he's going to. If we could kill him, that'd be a massive morale debuff. Please charge. A couple of them have charged. And yep, he's in. He's into the hoplites. Now, if we get this unit of hoplites around the back, we could potentially surround them. Just get out of phalanx for a moment so you're super quick. Trap the general and the rest of the Roman army could be screwed because their general is going to be dead. So, spears down. Attack the general. If we could get him down. He was at 50. He's now at 41. So he's not actually taken that many losses. That's not the greatest phalanx in the world, lads. So, he's still eager, even though he's lost quite a few men. The Cretans are doing a good job, just at the back, getting them down. He's only penetrated the second line of hot plates. There's still another line to go. If we, He's shaken. And bear in mind, he's surrounded now. We have managed to surround him. He's down to 24. He's wavering. If he breaks, he'll go down really quickly, I hope. So, if we could just... Shake and wavering. He's still not dead. Okay, he's broken. Now can we kill him? Yes, we can. The animation is triggered. Beautiful. So, pause it for a second. So, the faction leader, Vibius Brutus, is dead. We've managed to kill our first... 
Actually, uh, we've, we've killed Brutti before, but we've, we've managed to kill the general, which is a huge step. So what we can do now, guys, get back into... You, you were fine getting into the formation a minute ago. Why can't you be back in the formation? Really, guys? Right, whatever. This unit, just get over here. These two units... I, I can't even see what's going on. It's such a mess. I think it's these two units. Get back in the line that you were in. And then Cretans now start firing on the next unit, which can be the Prinkapes. Let's get the Prinkapes down. We're doing a good job here. Let's get the Prinkapes down. So all of you should have your spears down now. Okay, get your spears down. You're in formation, pretty much. So the Cretans are now firing at the Prinkapes. And hopefully they'll fall for the same trap. If we can kill the Prinkapes, bear in mind we basically killed the units of the Starty. If we can kill the Prinkapes, then that's basically the only dangerous unit left, I'm pretty sure. So, we've got what we've got here. We've got Prinkapes and Wellitez. Yeah, Wellitez are okay. We can just charge them down with the Phalanx or even my General, possibly. So, we should be okay. Prinkapes, are they going to react to the fact that the Cretans are hurting them? I mean, the Cretans are doing damage to them, so that's good at the very least. I think they are going to react, you know. Ah, oh, they seem to be going backwards. I'm not really sure what they're doing, but to be honest, if they're going to mess around like that, the Cretans are just going to get hits on them, so... If they want to stand around being stupid, they're more than welcome to, because they're already down now to 55, and it's going down quickly. Prinkapes, I think, are finally about to charge. They look a little bit unhappy. They're wavering already, in fact. They're down to 52. If they break, my general can potentially just chase after them. Yep, they're broken. Let's get them. Right, Cretans, now fire on the Wellites, because don't waste your arrows on a broken unit. So my general can now chase down all the Prinkapes nice and quickly. Chase them down. The Wellites are eager, so we won't charge into them, even though there are only Wellites. Let's get back here now. We've killed a lot of Prinkapes. That's fine. Only eight of them remain. So guys, get back here. Cretans now do exactly the same to the Wellites. Start getting them down. They're already shaken, which is good to see as well. Do you see how important the Cretans are? Because we didn't have the Cretans... None of those units would have charged the Hoplites, but now they're broken, so Cretans stop firing, there's no point. Um, none of those units would have charged the Hoplites. We wouldn't have been able to break the Prinkapes, we wouldn't have been able to break the Wellites, and especially, we wouldn't have been able to kill the General, which is the reason why these guys broke so quickly. So it's hugely important, the Cretan Archers, hugely important. They're almost as important as the Hoplites themselves, in fact. So General will charge the Wellites down, he's now going to charge the Prinkapes down. What we've got over here, we've got... The remaining Roman general, where he won't be too much of an issue, we can get him down with a phalanx. Uh, we've got a few Histati left, so we'll get them down. I think it's literally just pretty much the Roman general and a unit of like militia cavalry or something like that, or some sort of Numidian mercenaries or something like that. So, what exactly have we got? Yeah, so this is the plaza. We've got Equites probably and the Roman general, so nothing too strong. So, what we'll do, we'll get the hoplites coming up over here. Hoplites come over like this, and then we'll have the Cretans in behind them, like that. And in fact, we can get this unit of armoured Hoplites coming over like this. We can fire them from the plaza. They'll be baited out to coming over here. Game over. These guys are taking a few hits from something, so they have definitely got some form of missile. But I don't know what. What have they got that could potentially hit them from there? Because they're not horse archers. How would they get horse archers? Cavalry Auxilia, but Cavalry Auxilia, they fire javelins. How are they throwing the javelins that far? I mean, that, that looks like cheating to me. I don't know. I mean, I, I sense a little bit of cheating, maybe. But it doesn't matter. We're going to kill you anyway, so it's all good. Right, so we're all set up in formation. Beautiful to see. Now, the Cretans, can you reach the... You can't quite reach the Cavalry Auxilia. That's a bit of a shame. You can reach the General's Bodyguard. Can't quite reach the Cavalry Auxilia. So I think... If you guys, Armoured Hoplites, just get out of the way for a minute. I don't think we're going to particularly need you, to be honest. Just get out of the way. Let's just get the Cretans moving slightly forward. See if, if they move forward, they can reach the Cavalry Auxilia. Literally a couple of metres away. Okay. Hoplites, so you come down the street over here. No, not the Cretans, sorry. You come down the street over here. And you come in behind him. Cretans get as close to the wall as you can. Now the Cretans have a lot of arrows left, so they should be able to fire at the Cavalry Auxilia, especially if they walk a little bit closer. Come on, you know you want to. There we go. The Cretans can now fire at the Cavalry Auxilia, get them charging into hot plight. Should be game over. So lads are charging forward. The Roman General's bodyguard is charging in. 
They're going to suffer straight away. Yep, they go down instantly. And the break, beautiful. And the Cavalry Auxiliary, if they don't charge the Hoplites, they're going to die from the Cretan Archers anyway. So they kind of have little choice. Either way, they're going to die. General's Bodyguard comes back in for another go. Cavalry Auxiliary are thinking about charging. But they're not quite yet. At the moment, they're just being torn down by the Cretans, which is absolutely fine by me. They can, they can do that if they want to. They'll get a few hits on our lads, but it's all right. Because as soon as they hit that phalanx, they're going to get torn apart. There we go. They route straight away. But they have little choice but to come back because the Cretans are so important. The Cretans will just tear them down. And again, they charge into the hoplites. Pretty much game over for them. Okay, the Cretans eventually run out of missiles. I think it's time for the hoplites to enter the plaza. And yeah, the cavalry auxilia will not stand them. Beautiful. Was it only seven left? Nine left. Yeah, we can deal with that. And one Hastati hiding behind the flag. I don't blame you. Or two Hastati. Hastatus, I think. Is that the plural? I'm standing behind the flag. Yeah, you guys are going to suffer. Just get them down, lads. Get them all down. There we go. Plaza is ours. And clear victory. 419 kills to 262. I'll take that. So, Trentum is ours. And I'm really happy about that. We can now move on to Croton. And then... Onto the rest of Italy and Sicily, so that'd be really cool to see. So Tarentum is ours. Now, public order, I might be tempted to exterminate these guys because A, we need the money, and B, public order is an issue. So let's just get rid of them. We've got a bit of money. I, 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 ah. See what I've just seen. Big Brutai army of Tertius Corellius. Good job we didn't send that ship over to Croton because they would have been stuck and they would have probably died against that army. So what we'll do, instead of going straight to Croton, well, we need to repair the walls first. Repair the walls. We will get a... Do you know what? We'll get some wooden walls in first before the shrines or any of that. We'll retrain all these geezers. Because some of them took a few hits. And then we'll recruit a unit of armoured hoplites. Lovely. So if Tertius Corellius or Cyrelius decides to come over towards Trentum, he's going to have trouble. Doros is there. He's, you know, he's really quite accomplished now. He's only 29, but he's got some really good influence. He's a conquering hero, which is fantastic for the old influence. You know, he's really been in the wars, brave. He's a faction leader. Obviously, he's a faction leader. He's a good defender. He's, he's done his stuff. He knows what he's doing. So, yeah, you, you dare try and attack him. So, we've got lads coming over to Syracuse to help it out. We've got lads in Masana. We've got lads ready to come over to Sicily. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the situation over here. Turkey, I'm less happy with the situation. What we do have is Hippias of Thebes. So what you can do... Same mercenaries. I check every time. It's still the same mercenaries. So what we'll do is... First of all, actually, this ship can come over to Nicomedia and get retrained. You keep walking towards the coast. Lovely. And you know what? Set up a watchtower while you're here. Why not? Beautiful. I do still want to go for Tarsus pretty soon, though. But I want to get this spy over here because I'm worried about Seleucids coming over. I've got a feeling there's going to be a few Seleucids around. But still, once Mazakar is happy enough, we will get troops back over to Tarsus. We just need to recruit a little bit more. Are there any mercenaries available? There are, incidentally. There's, you know what? We'll take Sarmatians. We'll take Sarmatians. We need a bit of cavalry. So, yeah, bring those along into Mazakar as well. Lovely stuff. Okay, we, we do have a, a good amount of money, but I think we are pretty much ready to end the turn. We will recruit in Sparta and Athens. Right, things are looking on the up. So I think we're ready to end the turn one last time for this episode. Hopefully Pergamon doesn't revolt, and we'll see what happens. Okay, turn has ended. Now the Brutii, how are they going to respond to the fact that we've taken Trentum? By doing absolutely nothing at all. That's pathetic. Right, Thracians have attacked by Lazora. Okay, Thracians are really starting to get on my nerves now. Ah, this armour, yeah. This, um, it, yeah, it keeps getting knocked back over. Yeah, it, it, this was at Salamis. I forgot to move it, in fact. But there's basically nothing on that ship anyway. So, it doesn't really matter. So, I think we'll probably end the episode here. We'll move a few troops around. But, yeah, very little happened that turn. Which is how I like it, actually. It's how I like it. So, what we're going to do, we need to get this ship over towards... We've got this army of the Carthaginians. It's pretty decent. Inside Syracuse, we've got... A pretty good amount of force, to be fair. I'm going to get three more armoured hoplites coming over. Ah, I see. Yeah, get on this ship. And then stand right next to Syracuse. In fact, stand... I wish I could see what was flipping going on. That would help. Stand right there. 
There we go. So they are ready to help defend Syracuse. I feel like we have plenty of force if the um, if the Carthaginians attack. We have these guys, and then we have these guys here to defend Syracuse. Beautiful. Now we have also this navy, which has an army of Tellus of Attica. And he is going to start heading towards Lilibium. So what we can do, can both ships get to? They can both get to that point. Lovely. I love that. So, Tellus of Attica, come over here. And then we're going to have this army, which is just ready for Tellus of Attica, to join him. So, army, get off the ship. Join Tellus of Attica. Now that, if I can combine them. Guys, I can tell that you can... They can't combine. Cocking typical. Well, just imagine it, okay? This plus that is a formidable army. Trust me, it is. Hopefully they don't attack us this turn. That'd be really annoying. For goodness sake, can you seriously not actually reach? Guys, oh, I swear, if this army gets attacked and it's in two parts, I'm going to be really annoyed. Well, we're going to have to hope they don't. That's really annoying that they couldn't merge. For goodness sake. Well, anyway, you just pick up some Peltas. Why not? Yeah, that's a formidable army, and that's going to be what kicks the Carthaginians off of Sicily next episode. Yeah, I'm calling it. We're going to take Lily by him next episode. We're also going to move out of Tarentum once we've built up a little, a little bit, and move towards Croton and defeat the Brutii there. And I think the Brutii haven't got any more settlements. I think, because look, this area is Gaul, yes, Gaelic, it's, it's, it's the Gauls own it. I don't know how they've got all the way over here. I don't know how the Brutii haven't taken it yet but they haven't and then this area up here i think it's the gestica is dacian so i think if we take croton the brutii and they, they, they're gone we've defeated defeated the brutii we'll also have to work out how we're going to defend against the thracians but we'll worry about that next time we're going to get this army which is not going to go over to the thracians instead it's going to go over to byzantium it's going to go over onto this boat oh mercenaries you know what pick up some Pick up some Peltas, why not? Yeah, it's going to go over onto this boat. It's going to be joined by a good amount of hoplites. And it's going to go over. Oh, actually, it'll go over next time. I don't really feel like this army should be on a boat. Yeah, this huge army is going to go over and reclaim Sardis and sweep through and kill the Seleucids. So we've got a strong army over here. We've got a really strong army over in Sicily. Things are on the up. We're going to be recruiting in Mazakar, which is eventually happier now, which is nice to see. The Seleucids are going to regret ever counterattacking, that is for sure. So, things are on the up, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you around.